What's up, YouTube? Cooper the Gaming here with another episode of the Shimazu Clan for Total War Shogun 2. Still got this war going on with the Otomo. Trying to decide if I want to leave this castle to go ahead and attack this little group. Not much there. Try to push them off. They might rebel, but it'll be fun to go ahead and get a fight in. Facing some bow samurai. Yeah, that's not really the place to fight this. I mean, that's the point of watching this is to get to see some nice battles. We're gonna have one here. The enemy will probably camp on one of those two hills. We just have to see what they decide to do. They don't have a whole lot to to fight with. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Take some of them out. I've been trying to get them to you know, sign a peace treaty with me so I can consolidate my forces and make make my provinces better and make more money so I can build bigger armies. But the Otomo are kind of turds right now. They really don't want to do that. So hopefully I can get my armies going to make them capitulate and sign that peace treaty. In that dry environment. Not to listen to the speech, let's get, get our Yari Hashigaru together. Nice little thing right behind our, our archers. Take our samurai and move them to the back. Our three generals. Start the battle. Let's see what it looks like they're gonna do. They're just gonna sit. So let's see. Our bow Ashigaru. We're going to put them right there. Take our Yari Ashigaru. Put them right behind them. Samurai, we will move into the hills. Take our three generals. Put them here. Take our cavalry. Put them off to the side. I forgot I had those guys. Thermos mode on for everybody. We had overwhelming numbers, so that really wasn't going to be a surprise. But it's still nice to get that nice decisive victory. It's been a while since I played this, so I wanted to get that battle in. It didn't last very long, just a few minutes, and it was already over. It was pretty much over before it began. They really didn't have much of a chance to do anything in there. Yeah. Got our general to increase in rank. So that's always a plus. We're gonna go ahead and move back here. Make the settlement a little happier. Uh, 
upgrade our general. Let's see, one the command we received. We'll take that five accuracy to bow units. And add one of each of these. Make it a little better on the campaign map. Make it a little better and bodyguard better. Got our monk. He hasn't quite made it back where he's supposed to. We got some decisions to make here. Do we want to upgrade our farm to get more food and more wealth? Which will allow us to upgrade that when the time comes because it takes three food. It can take anything. It provides happiness and some wealth. Can it? Yeah, I can recruit him in there. Probably not a bad idea. I could use some more spying ability. I could build my blacksmith. Can add armor or samurai or uh, melee attack. Or I can upgrade to a trade. I think I'm gonna upgrade this trade route. It gives me more recruitment capacity for ships. And we'll add some Christianity religious zeal, that's not a big deal. Two trade routes possible, plus ten to growth. Plus we get those imported matchlock ashigaru which are kind of nice and then next turn when we have the money i think i'll build this monastery so i can get the nagadana warrior monks and bow warrior monks and then we just need to see what these guys are going to do i've got some units building but my army's been kind of devastated in the turn see what the tomo are going to do See, they're moving a bunch of units there. They got their Matsukes going by me. They're coming down here to probably attack my ninja or my other Matsuke. Trying to rest him or something. They gotta be jerks like that. The old gods have had their time. Truth has come with the foreigners, and souls can be saved by following the church's teachings. Heathens who cling to the old ways will be compelled by the power of Christ to kneel before God. Interesting. Uh, I failed that mission. Pretty much not possible. Once I upgrade that port, I'll be able to trade a little bit more. Go into clan management. So we're still in the Shinto Buddhism, but our clan fame isn't that great. So we're working on it. Check out our Mastery of the Arts, what we're working on. We're getting foot. Yeah, the foot archery range, so that way we can get down here. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're doing this one to get the fire arrows, and then we're going to go... Um, probably go this way and get the one defense for all units and add the Naginata Dojo, so we can get Naginata Samurai. First, we're going to get our monk in here, and then the settlement, we make the settlement a little happier. This army's got one, two, three, four bow ashigaru, three yari, plus a bow samurai, yari samurai, making a bow ashigaru, and then I want to add one more yari. They're coming for me. Unfortunately. Oh, well, we'll, try it. we'll see if we can assassinate this Matsuke. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe wound him. And okay. Try to apprehend him. 
And we execute him. Hey, there we go. Tried and executed. One less guy come down here and make trouble. Couple units down here. To give me a little bit more help. Probably use another Yari Ashikari here. We'll get another bow. Unit there. Cancel that recruitment. Give me that money back. I'm not recruiting you. Okay. Give our ships in here. Let's see. I'm going to go block here. Look at that report right there. Ah, there it is. I'm going to block it that port, try and take away some of their income. We can see they've got at least two Yari Ashigaru and he's matchlocked plus something else. No idea what's in this one and some Yari Samurai in that one. That's all we know about their guys so far. But if they don't attack me this turn, this will upgrade and we'll have even more defending get another Yari Samurai, another Yari, or er, Samurai Tainers and Yari Ashigaru join our forces there, so that'll help. But can't do much else this turn, so they end it. Kind of play the waiting game as they move forces back and forth. As they bring more Matsuke down to see me. Hopefully my ninja and my other Matsuke can take care of them. And they're not going to attack me this turn, so they're going to have an even bigger, bigger force to deal with, bigger town. And if you build a new building there, let's go down here first. And look at apprehending one of these guys. Let's see what the ninja is going to take. 20% chance, 20% chance. Yeah, we're not. We'll check it out. See if maybe we can. That 20% chance will. Maybe one of these days I should see that. Go ahead and try and apprehend him. 58% chance. And he failed there. The port. Got four more turns left. Not building anything. I really want to go back. I don't have the money. Let's see what we can see. At least five, six Yari Ashigaru. A bow samurai, a yari samurai, and a matchlock. It's just a matter of what those two are. Don't really know. My army's kind of hurting. But, I might be able to go out. I think I'm going to. Monk. They'll inspire the army so I'll have better morale, so when I'm fighting them, I have less chance of them defeating me. We're gonna build... I want to get another Matsuke and improve wealth. We're gonna go back. But we're gonna go ahead and send this army over here. Alright, just a lot of Yari Ashigaru. Those both Samurai and the Matchbox and the Yari Samurai will be the toughest, but... I got enough bows, they're going to have a hard time beating me on this one. It doesn't look like there's any hills for the enemy to go up on. We'll deploy, maybe throw one of our Katana Samurai into these trees or these trees. See if we can sneak them in, maybe put them in here. And we'll push this way them, put our front lines right here where they can be seen and just kind of push out this open space. 
start our deployment. We're gonna skip the our general speech. So we're on a little hill here. Right in the trees, but we're gonna put ourselves like this. Anything about not getting that Yari Samurai done, or Yari Ashigaru done, would have been nice to have to fill in with our best guys here. Put your other Yari Samurai, put them here. Both. Nice. I have a lot of. Staying in the open, so we're just gonna move. Keep my troops right here. Put them in the open. Going off the gun right behind them. So these guys on the flank. These ones on the flank. Put up one over right here. Come back up here, run these to Kana Samurai. Straight up that way. And we've got this one unit of both Samurai, these match locks, everything else is melee units. So, we will take all of our archers and move up a little bit more. Start targeting their archers. victory, we put them out, the army they were getting ready to come after us with. Give me a little bit more time to lick my wounds. I'm going to spend some money on replenishing and I'm trying to build those units back up. And just destroy. So we lost 316, they lost 18, so that whole army was destroyed. So now they don't even have anybody over here now. 
That's fantastic. I can come back here. I can sit tight, replenish. Grab these boats. We're gonna go this way so we can blockade that port. Ooh, they even have some ships there. Yeah. Sengoku Boon. Well, this is better than what I have. Might pull those back. Until I can... Range is pretty good. We have more holstering. Not this kind of in here. Yeah, I can go in here. Still one. And the Sengoku Firebomb Kabayo would be good. There must just be something to have. Could have been from the. Where you want to go? We met that Tomo on the field and defeated them again. They're blockading Cho Chosokabe right now. No, they did something to our Matsuke. him and imprison him. So we're gonna use our ninja and see if we can maybe assassinate one of these guys one of these days. Another failure. Eventually he might level up. See what they got. Other some Goku boons, a couple of Goku boons. It wasn't worth trying to fight them. They'll probably come after us, which is fine. I don't mind uh, the ship battles too much. We can lose them, it's not a, not a huge deal. Okay. These guys look so boons sufficiently. Yeah. I got one, two, three. Four Yari, five archers, and some cavalry. I think I'll pull out. Yeah, I a couple units to keep them from revolting. Set them back in there, and then we pull out. We'll take the rest of them. This one's looking at three turns, one turn, one turn, three turns, three turns, and two turns. We're building that market right now to get us another Matsuke. I really don't have any money to spend, really. But unfortunately. Well, pretty much the end of the turn, right? Not much else to do. Hopefully we'll get one more battle in and I'm going to put a cut in this video so we can get ready for part number five. Uh-oh, going after our ninja again. And they must have killed him. That's disappointing. Now they're coming after our monk. 
Man, he could travel a long ways. With speed, maneuverability, and so we lost. So we lost two people. Okay, now we have a choice here. We can do prosperity, which will give us. 10 turn per growth or 25%. We'll do that. We'll get more money from not letting them travel. Bastards took my. killed my monk. And we got our Matt 2K back. Another apprehension failure. We're going to recruit a ninja again. What are we building? What are we recruiting here now? We're recruiting a bow. So let's take the army. Yard, put it back. Let's put a bow back. Let's recruit more army than I really want to. Exempt them from tax for now. And then just build one of the <coughs> Excuse me. Take one of these. Toss them in there. With me recruiting them, that should make them decently happy. And So I got the navy there. No money to spend here, no money to spend here. I got at least two more turns to go with punish. So we'll do better in the town. Set up shop over here. And that's pretty much all we can do in this turn. Pretty much the Matsukes are pulling out. They did what they wanted to. This guy's probably going to try and cause unrest. He's a Christian missionary. Probably go ahead and scuttle. Don't, don't want it, don't need it. Move ourselves up here. Let's see who has that trade. 
They don't have much there, but it's a lot more territory. Eventually, both those towns they will just attack. But I have fire arrows now, so that's gonna be awesome. And they're con trying to convert people to Christianity or whatever he's doing. And uh, bringing a Matsuke down to come after my Matsuke, my monk. Because apparently they're dicks like that. Oh, they had a guy hiding. What do we got? In the castle, we're gonna send out the Ariakagaru and a bow and some center of the finger. Got the general. Both samurai are not the guy. They don't have much, and they wouldn't fight this battle. And we'll probably put a cut in after this battle's over. Backed up to the water is where they start. What does that mean? No, I'm yellow. I start over here, and they're attacking. They're attacking from the water. Nice big open area, they got no place to hide. I'll just set my battle line up right in here and just wait for them. Set my archers up and go to town. I got fire arrows now, so it's gonna be better when they attack. It's gonna be awesome. Now we'll go ahead and listen to the speech this time. さあ、迎える今。お主らの大名であってよかったと改めて思う。いざ登りを高く掲げ、我らの進軍を敵に知らせるのじゃ。敵方の繊維が落ちていることは兵の数を見れば一目瞭然数も少なければ兵力も大したことはないよいか今後百年は島津と聞いたら泣く子も黙るそれほどにこの戦は島津の武勇を歴史に残す戦いになるであろう Come to us. Take all the yari. Control guard mode. Put that on. Same thing with the All guard mode does is make sure after you tell them to go fight somebody, they don't continue to chase after them.
My lord, their general has fallen! A cutting blow! Decisive victory. Even with them coming in from behind and hitting me uh, in the rear. I left my flanking units alone. Or this Katana Samurai that I had sitting in the back, it probably would have wouldn't have gotten hit quite so hard. But even with hitting that, they didn't have much. Wasn't much for them to punch with. So they've got four units left. And we killed this general. So um, we took the town, so we'll go ahead and peacefully occupy it. Predicted public orders under control with predicted town level 652. Don't mind that at all. The farms across our territory are not producing enough food to supply all our castle towns. Resulting in food shortages in some that. provinces. So we're noted now. As a matter of urgency, upgrade farms in any province to improve food supply, as persistent hunger will lead to an increase in discontent. Okay, so let's do. Let's try and get diplomacy going. See if the Atoma want to do a peace treaty now. Maybe they wouldn't be adverse to it. I do not wish to listen to you, but Polly wants it. Ice. Okay, so we're at peace with them now. So that means we can bring this guy back here to fight them. For these Christian revolts we have going on. So that means we still gain a few territories before this. We're going to destroy this town. For that we don't want. We don't want that. We don't want that. Or do you know the populace is unhappy? Finally, get our imported Maxlock Ashikaru. One of those units. 
can just do the teeth, the warriors of trade, get a sunborn, construction completed, and get a great trait. So we have this one here. It's going to do a little bit of Christianity, but not as much as what we were getting hit with. Let's move our navy back. We're going to need to get prepared. There's a food shortage going on. We've got a lot of stuff going on right now. We're trying to master this one, which is what I was going to next, anyways. Have that mastered next turn. I don't really want to put any of my army off yet. So I'm not going to have much choice. So let's take the general, some potato samurai, Yari. Send them back this way so they can take those guys out. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. This has been Shogun Total War with Cooper League Gaming. Hope you guys like it.